as our next guests. They were members of one of the most successful pop bands ever, and now it looks as if they're about to achieve similar success as a duo. Oh, and of course, they've presented top-rating television series, they've had all their number ones and hits and everything else. More, more, we more. welcome the fabulous H and Claire. Well, that's nice, eh? Good Love morning. This. I watched this new hair yeah. colour. It's a wig. <laughs> it's a very good. nice look, Brunette. When did this happen? Um, a couple of months ago now. But people still don't recognise me. Everybody thinks she's one of the dancers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, hi, it's yeah, me. No, no Are you naturally brunette? Um, I'm probably more towards this colour. It's not, I'm not quite this dark, but I wasn't quite as blonde as mm. I was either. So That's I'm lovely. kind of somewhere in the middle. John has obviously said about Cali there how important it is, not just to bring out a fresh sound, but obviously I suppose... The look, I mean, what percentage do you think that plays in, in the success of, of the band? I think it plays a huge amount, really. I think the more... It, if you look groomed and kind of... And you change your image a lot, it does it does say a lot, I think, for a pop It's very pack, expensive especially to look like this. Yeah, she gets all the money for the clothes. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. You, you, you. It takes you've hours never, as well. You've never changed me. I'm just itching because I've just watched you a feature on Bugs, so I'm just it like listening. Oh. Mm. Absolutely. Awful. Obviously, it's a half term for a lot of schools this week, mm -hmm. and there'll be an awful lot of young people who've been watching Pop Stars Arrivals, Pop Idols and everything else, and thinking, well, that's how you do it then. You just need one big break and you're there. What was it like for, for you two when you first started? Was Steps, the first band that you were in? No, I was in, I was in another band. What was Sorry. yours called? <laughs> um, it was called TSD. Tell me you've got a we dodgy just, clip, Oh, no, please. don't. Sadly <laughs> not. No, no, to no. me last time. TSD? <laughs> yeah. What did it that stand for? Nothing. <laughs> it was, we made up some story about picking letters out of a Scrabble bag. Um, but I was in that for about a year and a half. We did lots of tours. We toured with Boys Own and Aunt so Deck trying. when they were doing their music stuff. Yeah, we did quite well. But then the Spice Girls came out and we got dropped. Oh, right. what so happened to the other girls? Yeah. Um, one of them I don't know at all, but another, one of the other girls, Cosy, I still see her and speak to her and stuff. And um, she's doing lots of things on her own, writing and recording and stuff. So it's, it's hard work to start, isn't it, to get in there? It's not just an overnight I think thing. It, mm -hmm. it was. I think it is easier these days. Is it? Even though it's not, I'm not saying that it's not difficult because mm. the auditions and things that they have to go through are quite tough. But I think there are more opportunities. Well, it's more transient now, isn't it? There's more opportunities for people yeah. to kind of come in. And I mean, unfortunately, what was the quicker they come in, sometimes the quicker they disappear as well. I, mean, yeah. I think they were with us. We grafted, you know. We, oh, right it was from, tough. No, we did. No, you you did, know, yeah. I don't think these um, the reality TV shows, the, the the products from from those shows, they realise that we travel up and down the country at like, three in the morning to do a gig and then back down, you know, from Scotland. So it, I remember it was one of your first gigs, major gigs ever. Was it on the lottery or something on a Saturday? Was, it, was that your major? Was that your it major? It was our first major TV. Because I remember I'd seen you on something else before, and I went, we oh, had something. With the first single, we as at the more weeks that it was in the charts, we'd it kind of people were watching it, kind of go up and down, and and then we'd get I don't know a lottery or Children in Need or something, and it mm -hmm. kept kept the single in the charts, even though it never went in the top ten. Right. It but it was always of, buzzing around. Yeah, it was yeah. between kind of. 14 and 20. Yes. So, so you got your money's worth out of it because yeah. it was constantly keeping everybody yeah. in the public eye. And now the pair of you is a duo, of course, of just your new debut album comes up November the 18th. 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 Yes. And the single from it is called All Out of Love, but it's a double A side with Beauty and the Beast. Which we're really chuffed about. Yeah. Right. Well, the we, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how lovely. We were asked to, they're re releasing the, the film on video and DVD on the 2nd of November, I think, mm -hmm. and they, they wanted to kind of update the set, the title track and they asked us to, asked us to record oh, it. Which you know, it's been in, like a milestone in our career and it's... So exciting. It's fantastic. Another, well, achievement to be very proud yeah. of. Definitely. So All Out of Love is not the old air supply number, is it? No. No, we're no, going to probably say to you, yes. It's a new one. Yeah. I'm in need of air supply after the routine. <laughs> 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 Believe me. Because that's what you're going to do for us today, yes, isn't it? Yes, a little yeah. bit later. So who wrote um, All Out of Love for you? Where's that come uh, from? It's the same guys that wrote most of the step stuff. So oh, really? they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're back on board. And do you have a chance yourself to write things? Or yeah. We have. We've written a couple on the album, but we, had, we did have such a huge choice. Mm -hmm. We think we've got a really great collection of songs and the, the people that 
contributed. We were offered to work with and the people who contributed to the album. It's just unbelievable. So we were like, oh no, it's fine. Mm. We're like songs from <laughs> Benny and Bjorn from Abra and we were like, oh, okay. unless we include what? that You're one. You're joking. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you really? And did you include it? Yeah, of yeah. course. So it's the, ti it's the title track of the album. It's called Another Year, Another Me. Mm. That's and what we called the album in the end. So. Another year, another me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite. Uh -huh. no, no. Uh -huh. I remember when you came in last time. We'd never met before, but I was I was truly impressed by the hard work that you put into it. You're both of you quite level-headed and grounded, and you know that it's Bless a business. You. You're not in it just to. That's what impressed me. You didn't mm. come with the entourage and the star stuff, and, and they're not got blinkered, your and they're not you know kind of you know I'm no. a star kind of attitude. You know you. I think we've we've been around quite a long time. I think people. T forget that sometimes and we've been through it all we've we've had down times we've been kind of up there and we, we kind of know how it all works and we know we've got good people you know around us you, and, and you know everyone yeah things, keep our feet on the ground that's the way that's the only way you can deal with it and I think that's the only way that you can keep a constant career going plus this is our sixth year in the business mm. really well the longer you know, it takes for you to climb you know the more steady and bigger the rock becomes longevity. I suppose doesn't it yeah that's we wanted we want. all that entourage when we first started then we realized <laughs> yeah. just how much it costs and like, <laughs> well, that's fine people, people don't realize that you pay for it all so we yeah. go do you know what how big is your entourage my word that. there's about 40 people behind the cameras well there. we've got dancers and hair and makeup and our PA and our record company right. lady but you know we are we quite need minimal them. Oh, everybody wave everybody wave on the stage <laughs> We yes, need all yes. of them. <laughs> not compared to a lot of bands. Not all those know. people are with us. <laughs> 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 <That's yours. laughs> You've given up the presenting for a while to concentrate on the singles, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Right. And we've worked so hard on this album and it's been quite a bumpy year for us that we thought yeah, we'd be well, doing ourselves an injustice if we thing. didn't completely concentrate mm. on the music for a while. Well, it was only Boxing Day, wasn't it, that you, you as Steps, disbanded? <laughs> Less yes. than a year, I know. Yes, I know, and, yeah. and you've done a lot since. This is your third, third single? Third single, yeah. yeah. But we, we decided to go straight into it. We didn't want to break, because I think when you leave things, you know, for a while, then you need to, you need to kind of pick up some of the, the time that you lost, but now we're, we're raring to go. So, number one on the dance, really, one dance charts last time, you know, are you going to mm. be... Uh, Scaling those dizzy heights again? I hope so. We're just happy it's, to still yeah. be here, seriously. We really are. Still working. Still enjoying it. Well, go right. on then. I want you to go and get ready. Go down your get our dancing yes. shoes get on. The water we go. Get, get the water. Yes. <laughs> and the oxygen. <laughs> they know how to mix the cameras. They know how to do with it. See how lovely they are. They really do concentrate yeah. and work hard. Well, because every time people come in, you know their attitude. You know the way they are. Mm. They are very, very down to earth. And yeah, very they are genuine. down to earth. Lovely. Yes. Um, so, actually, they're part of our competition today. How do you fancy spending a day at the zoo with H and Claire? And it's going to happen this week. Wednesday. If you do, then listen up. All you've got to do is answer this question and one lucky person will be picked up at random, picked out at random basically, to meet the pop duo. You'll be picked up as well, I suppose, and brought <laughs> down to meet them. I hope so. H and Claire were in which pop band? This is the qualifying question. Were they in A, Steps, B, Stomp, or C, Shuffle? If you know, just call 09012 77 10 77. That's 09012 77 1077. And don't forget, if it's not you that pays the telephone bill, please get permission to use it first. But now... I thought, oh. I thought this was going to be tough. They're sitting down. I hope I they're know, ready. They're, they're starting, sitting... Yeah. <laughs> OK, here are H and Claire with All Out of Love. Yeah. 
done so thank well. You, thank you. Well Hi. done, you. My word. <laughs> you wouldn't want to do that too many times a day, would you? No. Oh, well done, guys. They have to be, to be a pop star, you've also got to be a blooming aerobics teacher. Yes. Always jumping about. Wow. That was brilliant. Thank you both very much indeed. Well and the, that new yeah. single is out on 4th of November. 4th of November. Album on the 18th. We look forward and await. And good luck. Thank you. Coming up to